That's where you drunk? I'm not drunk. Put a ribbon on me. I've been necking brand new. Like I want to be transparent with you guys about my locks. Hey loves, welcome back to Inspirations by the T. This is a short video of the twins going away party, seeing them off to college. My husband was adamant about planning this party, which I was not excited about having, just because I didn't want to host another party. But we had it, we had a great time. And I also have some cooking in this video and an update on my micro lock, so make sure you stay tuned to the end. Bye, Kai. Hit your bell, hit your bell, hit your bell, hit your bell. Hit your bill. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride. But I'm a little tipsy, okay, so let me go upstairs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feeding got a line. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line. Yeah, my zodiac probably dollar sign. Got the energy to win in my. That's right, you drunk? I'm not drunk, I'm tipsy. There's a difference. There's a difference between. Coming from the block with plain clothes and police, straight up to the top with bank rolls and rollies. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick. You can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick. You can get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Ayy, 12 can't really stop. So I'm still pushing like a mosh pit. Ice dripping, think I'm hot. In a yellow bucket with the mop stick. I've been jugging jams like wholesale. Everything must go sell. Hitting with the old well. Need a hundred milli on the low scale. On my worst night, on the best. You ain't mess with you, couldn't get. Real. I just make dollars, I don't make deals. I've been going hard in the paint, still blowing cush clouds till I can't feel like. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Put a ribbon on me, I've been acting brand new. <laughs> smoking on my Zaza, I be smoking on you. No. <laughs> How did it go? That is not it. Look what did they that. say? What did they say? That's the, I know that's not it. Someone knows Zaza, I've been acting no, no. brand new. Um, what did she say? Put your bestie up, I'll be smoking her too. <laughs> Come on, Dede, tell me. You can't criticize me for saying that. Put uh, something. I know to put your bestie in. I'm smoking her too. But it, she says something f <laughs> before <laughs> that. Yeah. Some, somebody I'm smoking on you. Okay. Anyways, this is the yes. dorm. Dorm life. Okay. Hello, John, Dede. Dejana. Say hi to the people. Hi to the people. They just moved into their dorm. It's late. We about to go. They got mostly everything set up. Um, so yeah. Do 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 do. I look like who did it and what phone, but it's okay. Oh, this is camera. Yeah. But anyways. This is her roommate's side of the. <laughs> They're not here. 
But anyways. Anyways, we have been here since We've been here since um, we got up about eight, maybe nine. We got here about noon and it is, what time is it? Midnight? 12.02. 12.02. So this has been a long process. I did not realize how long everything was gonna, was gonna take, but uh, yeah, so we're now we're done. We're about to leave, give me a hug, smooches. Mm -hmm. Love you. Call me tomorrow. You guys are coming tomorrow. Yeah, we'll probably come tomorrow, anyways. Probably. We'll come tomorrow because we got to get figure out the car. Oh, you got to get a picture of us. Yeah. Oh my gosh. 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 It's a girl. It's a girl. It's a girl! It's a girl! It's a girl! It's a girl! Oh it's a girl. I got it on here. Don't you got it. Girl. Hi loves. I just got back from my stepsister's gender reveal party. It was very nice. Um, I was not planning on getting out the house today, but I had to uh, because I've been running all freaking for the last few days i feel like for the last few weeks actually i've been like just on go mode and um anyway so yep we did that that was super fun and then i got some work to do yesterday we took the girls to uh college they had to move into their dorms i know some of you guys are probably thinking it's too early because it's only june but they are starting an early um, summer bridge program for college to get them prepared for this fall season when all the kids or all the students go back and move, start back, you know, start back with their classes. Um, it's more so a program for like freshmen and things of that nature because they are going to a very um, prestigious school that has very high expectations, is very rigorous. The work workload can definitely be overwhelming, especially for freshmen. So they have a summer bridge program where they move the freshmen in early and they do seven weeks of like getting prepped and prepared for their classes. So that way it won't, won't be such a shock or um, too um, intimidating when everybody starts school back in September in the fall. So they will be starting classes um, toward their degree um, now since they're, you know, so they, we moved them in her dorm. I meant to record, but I didn't record much. Um, there was, we had still had a lot of shopping to do because the day before y'all, we ended up having a going away party for them at my house. And it was just, we was up until five o'clock well, maybe about four o'clock in the morning, three, four, four, three to four o'clock in the morning, knowing we had to have them moved by 11. So it's like an hour, hour and a half drive away. And um, so we got there. We didn't come home till two o'clock in the morning. Um, you have to remember, I have two because I have twins. So I had, they're not in the same dorm room. So we had to buy two of everything. Our expectations was they were going to be in the same dorm room because that is what they requested. They even had a uh, area on the application to request what uh, if you wanted a roommate or a particular roommate, which they did. When we got there, they were like, OK, yeah, they can't be together. There's no way that we can put them together. And it was a whole situation. My daughter about had a panic attack. Because, you know, this is all new to them. This is a new journey in life. You know, they're already overwhelmed and have anxiety about becoming adults and doing things on their own. And um, just being away from home, like all that is, is a little stressful. So, um, you know, with that being said, you know, they were at least hoping that they would have the support of each other like that kind of sense of security that they're in the same room with with, with one another and not uh living with a stranger and that didn't happen so it was a whole situation like one of my girls that she really didn't want to stay and 
we had to talk her and into and, and just it was just a mess so that made it take longer we had to go to the walmart while we were there and get we took a bunch of stuff they had a lot of stuff packed but we didn't realize how much stuff they were like still needed so we had to go to walmart spent like fifteen hundred dollars we knew we had to get tvs mini fridges and things like that but we were expecting to get one because they didn't know until we got there that they weren't going to be living together. So we had to go get, you know, two of everything. And, um, yeah, y'all yeah, don't pay no attention to my hair because I'm getting it done Friday. I have an appointment to get it redone, so I got to take it down. I won't be coming. Today is Sunday. This will not be coming down until uh, Friday morning. My appointment is Friday at 4, and yeah, this won't be coming down until Friday morning. It sure won't because, yeah, but it needs to be redone so bad. But anywho, y'all, so, yeah, so that was that. And, um, you know, bittersweet moment. They're not that far away from home. At least they were or did not go to Texas as they originally planned. I have family in Texas. My sister lives in Texas. My nieces, my nephews. And one of my nieces, they're extremely close to uh, my niece is a year older than them. And they really, really wanted to move to Texas. They got accepted into a few colleges out there in Texas. But in the end, ultimately, they decided to stay in Michigan, but to go a little bit of a ways from home. So they're only like an hour or so away, hour and a half away. And so that makes me feel better, even though, you know, they would have been fine. Because like I said, my sister's in Texas, but you know, just them being close to me gives me a sense of com comfort. So, um, yeah, that was the whole situation with yesterday. And, um, yeah, so that was that. And um, it was just a whole situation. I didn't record as much as I wanted to, but you know how that go. I recorded a little bit at the uh, gender reveal my sister-in-law not a whole lot my sister-in-law is cuban so y'all will hear a lot of cuban music in the background and stuff like that um because my father-in-law's why do i keep saying in-law my stepsister is cuban my stepfather is cuban <laughs> anyways um yeah and um so yeah my mom and my stepfather has been together for like 26 years my oldest daughter was one years old when they first got to marry together and she is will be 27 in august so with that being said i just wanted to come and say hey hey y'all i feel like i feel like i've been on the go you know we went to florida in may then in june we had the twins graduation their open house um we also had their going away party and we went to vegas last week and then we're going to Sh chicago next weekend Girl, if you have not already checked out the Vegas vlog, make sure you do so. I uploaded a couple videos ago. We had such an amazing time. Go I check go it next out. Weekend, and it's just been just go go. It's just been everything has just been my my schedule has been busy to say the least. That's why I'm glad I decided not to take classes this summer because I was signed up for classes and then I ended up canceling them because I just knew it was going to be too busy for me a busy time so at my community college i take classes um, for healthcare administration thinking about changing my major but i don't know but i keep saying i don't know what i want to do when i grow up but you know my kids are gro grown basically essentially they are out of the house the twins were the last to leave the nest so i started classes last year just because i thought it would be you know something that's doable since um you know, I don't have any little babies. I don't have any little kids. So, yeah. Yeah, so I think that's it. Just wanted to come and holler at y'all super quick and give y'all an update on what's been going on. I didn't really uh, um, do much vlogging. I did a little bit of recording for their going away party, but not a whole lot. But you know how that go. When you're busy, you get caught up in the moment. I'm going to show y'all what I'm wearing real quick, what I wore today to the gender reveal. But anyways, y'all, so super simple. Literally threw this on and threw this together just to get out and go to the gender reveal. It's 
So I just wore my little Gucci um, shoes. Hey, what's up loves? I'm at home right now, just making some dinner. Uh, the hubby just got back off the boat. I'll show y'all the boat, we just got a new boat, but I'll show y'all that at some point. Um, but anyways, I'm cooking dinner right now. I told myself I'm gonna start picking up the camera more often, vlogging, things of that nature, especially when I'm cooking, cleaning, things of that nature. Just so I can get more footage in, more content in. You know, so that's what that is. So I'm gonna show y'all what, what I'm making. I should have recorded prior to this, the whole process, but you know it is what it is. I just thought about picking up the camera. So, so we have some cabbage with shrimp. My husband is a pescatarian. He does not eat meat. So this is cabbage uh, with green peppers, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, onions, shrimp, of course, I have uh, some minced garlic in there, some butter, seasoning salt, regular garlic salt. My husband, I sent him to the store, he got that. I usually buy garlic powder, but whatever. I'm gonna make it do what it do. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, um, I look so bad. No money. Oof. Jesus, help me. But my babies will be home tomorrow. They are off in college. They are doing an early summer bridge program um, because the school that they go to is very rigorous and it can be very overwhelming for college students. I've said this before, but just, just in case you didn't hear it, I'm gonna say it too, just to get acclimated and comfortable with college life, getting signed up for classes for fall. They're, they are already taking classes as well earning credits but so yeah that's what they are doing and they'll be home tomorrow it'll be their first day home they only been gone a week um but yeah they'll be home tomorrow for a couple days for the weekend that's why i'm so glad that they didn't go out of state to texas like they originally planned off to college because it's just not that easy obviously for them to come home and all it's nice for them to be able to come home to their own room to their pets to their parents most importantly but anyways, yeah, so I'm about to get this food on this plate so my husband can eat because it's already late. What's that late? Okay, yeah, let me hurry up. to come and show y'all my hair really quick don't mind my face is so greasy but i just took my crochet out they were up for about a month and a half maybe a little more or so i feel like it has grown um i'm about to wash it i have to go back and i'm going i have another hair appointment today to get it done back up that was my plans to wear it and crochet for the most of the summer um Although I wish I could let it breathe for a little bit, like a week or so, that ain't gonna happen because my appointment is today. It's dirty, so don't mind that. But I feel like it's grown. Okay, loves, that's the end of this video. Make sure you guys stay tuned for my next video because I will be giving a full update on my micro locks, washing my micro locks, and also me getting my crochet braids reinstalled. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the next one. Rate, comment, and subscribe.